Hello there DCS pilots, welcome to the F-16 Viper, somewhere over the Syrian desert where we are currently chasing down the setting sun. We want to know, can we keep up with it and can we even bring it closer to us? I don't know, let's find out. Three, two, one, now. And for those who maybe weren't around, here's the Concorde. And one of the amazing facts about this was you could have breakfast here in the UK, fly out 3,000 miles to New York, be there for lunch and be back again here in the UK for dinner time at home. It was the only aircraft in the world that even came close to doing such a thing. And here, let's treat ourselves to a view from inside the cabin as they're about to go through supersonic. It's about to switch the afterburners on again. As I said, we're going to switch them on in pairs. You may feel the airplane give two very small lurches as they fire up. And very soon afterwards, we will be going super so you can keep your eyes on the screen. Okay, we're about to switch them on now. There we go. There we go. And we're now supersonic. That's uh, 11 minutes after takeoff. Enough reminiscent of days gone by, but of course, Concorde being famous for being able to land before it took off. Now here in the F-16, let's see if we can at least catch the sun. And if we put our flight path marker on it, we can see it's more or less level with the horizon. We'll take a close look in a sec. And so with that done, let's zoom in now on the heads up display. We'll brighten up the heads up display. And we can see the sun is exactly level with the horizon. Well, that makes sense because we just saw that the sun just had gone down. And I guess they measure that from the center of the sun, which we can see here. Half the sun there below the horizon line. So what I'm going to do now, we'll maintain the height that we're at, which is 14,000 feet. We'll go full burner. And although we won't be able to reach Mach 2 down here, Hopefully we can get fast enough to see and I'm going to compress time and just try and remember in your mind's eye what that looks like there. The autopilot is on. It's going to maintain us around 14,700 feet. And as we compress time here, there we see the acceleration beginning to take place. Looks like we're going to cap out about Mach 1.6 ish, not quite at 14,700 feet. And look at what's happening to that sun. It looks like we've now got a full sun above the horizon and just in case there is any doubt there you can see we are heading west this is a sunset if you want to see just how fast we are moving through time the time compression you can see there 10 seconds 10 seconds 10 and seconds, so with that we can safely conclude that yes seconds, the f-16 or indeed any aircraft at all that is capable of traveling around mach 1.5 or greater can catch up with the sun and until next time that's it from me good morning good afternoon good evening and good night